Have you ever wondered how vegetable gardening differs in the UK and New Zealand? Gardening, as we know, is a global phenomenon, popular across continents and cultures. And it's not just any gardening. There's a significant rise in interest towards organic gardening. Picture this. Nearly 143,000 people search for gardening each month, and over 3,000 are specifically interested in organic gardening. Fascinating, isn't it? Now, let's delve into the unique world of vegetable gardening in the UK and New Zealand. The UK, with its temperate maritime climate, offers a unique environment for vegetable gardening. Here, gardeners find a haven for a variety of veggies, from crunchy carrots to plump peas. The climate, while idyllic, does present its challenges. Cool summers can lead to slow growth, and damp conditions can invite unwanted pests. But gardeners thrive on these challenges, using clever techniques like crop rotation and companion planting to keep their gardens healthy and productive. But how does New Zealand, with its own unique climate and environment, compare? In contrast to the UK, New Zealand offers a whole different set of opportunities and challenges for vegetable gardening. Blessed with a temperate climate, it's a haven for a variety of veggies, from leafy greens to root vegetables. But it's not all smooth sailing. Gardeners often grapple with distinct challenges, such as irregular rainfall and pesky pests. Yet, with smart strategies like crop rotation and companion planting, they turn these obstacles into opportunities. As you can see, vegetable gardening is a diverse and fascinating world, with each region offering its own unique opportunities and challenges. From the temperate climes of the UK to the varied landscapes of New Zealand, vegetable gardening is a journey of discovery. In the UK, the cool, wet weather can nurture lush greenery, while the diverse New Zealand climate can yield a wide range of crops. By understanding these differences, we can all enhance our gardening practices, whether we're dealing with a rainy spring in London or a sunny summer in Auckland. Remember, no matter where you are, there's always something new to learn in the garden.